Right, so we are going to create the ultimate kind of Spanish style surf and turf. So have a look at this. What we've got here is some amazing pork. I'm going to get it straight on the grill. Owen is going to tell you what this is because it's awesome. Presa Iberica de Bayota essentially is a shoulder cut of Iberica pork that's been fed on acorns. A acorns? Bacon, acorn, bacon, acorn. Um, and it's a, it's a pure Iberica breed. So they're from the southwest of Spain. Incredible marbling, uh, incredible rearing, super free range, and you can cook it like a prime steak. So we're going to cook this medium rare, and it's going to go with beautifully fresh clams, a Montiado sherry in it, yeah. and with it. Yeah, so it's all about the clams and the amazing quality of the pork and the sherry. So the pork here, just grilling it over a direct heat. I'm going to probe it. I'm going to take it to about 50 degrees um, and then we're going to rest it. So in barbecue, as you know, we always cook to temperature, not time. So um, that's what we're doing. Just going to get this cooking. Right, so that pork is bang on now, um, just shy of 50 degrees. Have a look at that. Doesn't that look beautiful? Sort of all caramelised and lovely. I'm going to shove that up there just to rest it. It's going to keep on raising in temperature by about kind of five to eight, maybe 10 degrees, but it's, we've got plenty of time on it. Um, those beautiful clams directly on the grill bars now. Shove yeah. them on Owen. I'm going to bring that camera forward so we can see. So we're just going to cook those directly on the grill bars till they just start to open out. And then in this pan at the back here, we've got some beautiful comfy onion. And then once the clams have opened out, we'll shove them in there. And that's when they hit the sherry. But by cooking them on this kind of surface directly over the fire, we're going to hit them with a tiny bit of smoke. I've got some oak wood under there. So that's going to add an extra layer of smoky flavour. Right, those clams are ready now to shove in that pan. Opening up nicely. They look beautiful, smell amazing. Um, Owen, sherry. Okay. Bring on the sherry, sherry monster. Put your caramelised onion, <laughs> your clams is going to release those beautiful juices there oh, to get that, get that fellow in. Seaside feel. Get this fun. lovely. You bring you forward so you can there see. You So that is a really generous slug of sherry. What do you reckon? 100 good, mil? Good for a Tuesday morning. Yes. Yeah, no. uh, <laughs> Lucky me. So that's going to burn off that alcohol quite quickly. Yeah. And reduce down, but equally let that sort of sea spray liquor from the clam into there. Yeah. Once that gets bubbling again. Yeah. We're just going to be a bit lavish because it's a kind of autumn winter dish. I've got some reduced sauce from a pork dish we do in a restaurant here. Wow, so that's like a real and this, sort of yeah. porky, porky kind of jelly. Yeah, and that's just not too much of it because you still want that Amontillado and the juices from the clams to be big flavour in there. So it's just a nice different take to a seafood dish. It's going to go beautifully with those uh, that American pork. Right, whilst those are opening up, um, I think we should have a sip of your sherry. Should, I think we it. should. I think we need to taste the sherry that's gone in the dish. So, <laughs> one for you. So this is a massive glass of sherry. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Why are we drinking out of such so, a huge glass, Owen? This. Oh my God, that smells beautiful. just phenomenal. Perfect yeah. for this time of year. Yeah. Never, ever, ever put your sherry in like a dot cotton size thimble or the Queen Vic sort of sized Ooh, glass. It's a bit is... like when, uh, what was her name? It was the uh, landlady of the Vic. I don't know, I've never anyway, watched these studies in my life. used to do a G&T with like a single ice cube and a slice of lemon, <laughs> it's awful. Like my, that's like my mum, she um, drinks it like that. So wine but, like this needs to be treated like a great wine. It's one of the great wines of the world and give it room. Oh my God. Okay, so the aroma coming off that, that's perfect for these I sort just, of I just wintry wish, clams. I'm just gonna show you that bottle. I just wish you could sort of smell this. It's extraordinary. So it's 12 years old. 12 years old. It's a Palomino Fino grape. Yeah. So it's a white wine grape. Mm. It's spent um, half its life 
under a layer of yeast. Mm. So it's sort of eating that sugar, mm. eating residual sugar and alcohol. I must have to get the clams because I'm getting too And when that yeast layer so. dies away, you get this beautiful sort of like mahogany for yeah. colour, which of course changes the flavour of the sherry completely yeah. then. Yeah. So you should some sort of say um, white wine, bone dry sherry notes, but equally it's sort of a bit richer, nutty. Which really suits my palate actually, because I like, um, my favourite sherry is kind of like a really deep, dry kind of Oloroso. Yeah. I love that kind of richness, yeah. probably yeah. because I'm a red wine drinker rather yeah. than a white yeah. wine drinker. So I like that kind of mm, and this is that sherry in between. with nuts. Yeah, you know, exactly. That's, that's kind of what I like. But here you're getting that sort of dried orange yeah, peel. Yeah, beautiful. Um, sort of still got mm. almond, roasted mm. almond notes in, in it. Um, it's perfect with things like pork, yeah. things like tuna. Yeah. Uh, at the moment, mushrooms would be great with, but things like clams, you'd obviously put a fino or a manfanier with normally super mm. dry white style. Mm. But I just think with this kind of surf and turf dish, just brings it this together, has that best of both. Connects it, yeah. A wintry feel, but perfect with it. Fantastic. I think we're ready. I think we are. Please. So we covered those clams just um just to help them open up. We just put a cloche over them. You could use a piece of foil, you know, whatever. Um show the clams to the camera. Mm, Don't cool. they look awesome? Yeah, they look yeah. really good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then grab that little bit of pork. Beautiful pork, also awesome. This dish couldn't be simpler, actually. So we're just going to, um, I'm just going to slice that open so you can see. That's lovely and kind of rare in there, which is just how we want it. So now we're going to take it, we're going to slice it across the grain. That's really important with um, with meat cooking. Um, I'm wondering if I've got time to talk about slicing across the grain. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, just going to do it really quickly. Right, meat fibres like this running kind of um, across. If you slice them through the grain, you've already got like little sections of meat fibres. If you slice with the grain, you've got a long bit. So going through the grain, automatically the perception of tenderness is greater. The meat is not any more tender. It's just you're kind of helping that chewing process almost. So yeah, it's going to slice that up and get that on top of our clams. And then I've got some fennel tops um, that I picked on my allotment yesterday. And that's just going to add a tiny little hit of freshness with, with fire cooking. I mean, with all cooking actually, but with fire cooking, I often add a kind of hit of fresh herbs at the end. It just wakes everything back up again. And that is, um, that's a really beautiful thing. So that looks amazing. Let's get some of those clams on top so beautiful. people can see them. Put a touch. Because <laughs> it was quite a thick cut as well. Yeah. Just because you were cooking it yeah. quite quickly. Yeah, and the salt was only infiltrated. on the outside because it hasn't, yeah, it won't go through. You don't need too much because it's obviously a the salt in the clams. Um, can right. I pick that up? Yeah, yeah, I've got asbestos fingers these days. Have yeah. a look at that. Beautiful. That is the most beautiful kind of Spanish surf and turf clams with um, with this amazing sherry. Delicious. Job done. Mm. Job done. Well, I'm going to have a little taste here. Mm -mm. Go for it all in mm. one. Very nice. Mm. That is awesome. Mmm, mm, that nice little aniseed. Yeah, I think the, You're right I think the, the aniseed with the fennel really, really worked. Freshness with the rich onions and sherry and jus. Mm. Done. And salty clams. Surf and turf, Spanish mm. tile, style. The rain's coming down. We're going to persevere. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs>